ships and the border border um, gentlemen have been uh, at the forefront in ensuring that our students don't mess up and uh, not once not twice several times they have brought uh, students uh, who were found out of school without permission cheats and that has made our students not even uh, think of uh, sneaking out of school without permission what we expect is uh, them to behave well and be supportive to our school, particularly the school programs. Uh, out of this cooperation between the school and the border border, border uh, riders, we believe that uh, there is going to be more benefits uh, in terms of uh, they are going to offer better services to our, our client clients, that is our parents and our students. And uh, besides that, they will also support uh, many programs of our school. Uh, but above all, we are happy that uh, they will be uh, out of danger, particularly those who, uh, who used to park outside the, on, on, the, on the streets, uh, on the road, uh, which is very busy, um, being used by many motorists. For school, before we went out with the border border sheds, uh, we uh, we created three water points to the community, uh, donated by the school, free of charge, uh, but then under regulations, and the community um, members are fetching water from the, those points. Uh, before then, I remember most of our members of the community, a number of them elderly, used to go very far, about five kilometers to fetch for water during uh, uh, sunny or uh, when there's no rain. But now they have benefited uh, from the school. And again, our school has also created an environmental club, which is very active. And uh, every month we go out to clean our environment uh, around the school, within the school and around the school.